well what is going on everyone everyone welcome back to this channel you know even though we did not hit the uh, the 1000 subscribers as I was kind of hoping you know we still um, got a lot of new subscribers and uh, you know I again <laughs> I know I've said it in many videos but I'm gonna keep saying it thank you to everyone who has subscribed you know thank you so much for your support it uh, obviously yeah it means a lot to me all right, so you know, as I was trying to organize all of my clips, I was, you know, obviously going through uh, all the clips that I have recorded and all the pictures that I have taken uh, this entire year. And, you know, obviously uh, most of it was for the purpose of, you know, uh, YouTube. But, you know, I decided to uh, basically do this video to put uh, a little bit of everything into, into this one video. Because uh, it has been by far the best year of my life when it comes to reptiles, of course. Starting the year right away, you know, um, I started going to, to shows. And you know, even though uh, this show, The Ultimate Reptile Show, it is not the biggest one, it was basically just starting. You know, um, I went to, I started going to, to those shows because of my friend Melissa. So right away, the first one that I went to, it was an amazing experience because it is actually uh, the first and probably the only show where I was actually able to sit down and you know help some some people to uh to basically teach them about uh, reptiles, which was freaking awesome. That is that is definitely something that I will I will never forget. Even though most likely it's never going to happen again. Another show that I went to, which was an obvious because uh, there is no way that I if you're able to you have to go to the NARBC shows. First, first one right away, I went to the one that was supposed to be in, in Tinley in March, but they ended up changing it to Schamburg in June or July, I believe. I don't remember, to be honest. But that show was really, really cool. Even though it was uh, in a different place and it was a little bit um, smaller, it was still really awesome. And that was actually the show where I got my first uh, reptile of the year, which was my Lichianis Gecko. And of course, the, the main show of all of them was the same in ARBC, but in October in Tinley. That is always the one that I, I mean, there's, there's people coming from Europe just so they can go to that show. It was, that is, uh, that show is insane for those that go there. You know, you, you guys obviously know. And by the way, you know, all of these uh, events that, uh, that I'm basically mentioning, I got videos for, for all of them. So just in case you want to, uh, to watch them, you know, there will be uh, videos all, all in, in my channel all of all of these shows, stores, you know, tours and everything. But this last uh, Tinley show was probably one of my favorite ones because even though I did not get uh, any new reptiles from there, it was... A really awesome experience because first of all you know I got to, to meet uh, uh, quite a few people and also I was actually uh, able to record a, a you know a couple of small clips with some other uh, big YouTubers now it might seem kind of, kind of weird because uh, you know I'm I'm basically doing still uh, uh, YouTube videos but when it comes to recording in public places you know I still get a uh, basically stage rights and you know it it was not easy, <laughs> and uh, actually with uh, with Dave Kaufman, um, I actually got a little bit nervous, and I ended up saying, hey, you want to record a, a little video with me? And that was the first thing that, that he said, yeah, I'll record a little video with you. But still, it was an awesome experience. Uh, in that show, I was actually uh, where I also met, you know, uh, somebody that likes my videos, which is freaking amazing. You know, Francisco, you know, big shout out to you, my friend. Hopefully, I get to see you in, in March. Another show that I went in two different events was the Sewer Fest. Now this is the biggest show, reptile show, in Wisconsin. And you know, I, I have known about it for, for quite a long time, but because it's two hours away, you know, I, I didn't really, uh, I wasn't feeling like, like driving. I hate driving and to me two hours is actually a lot. But you know, I was like, I, I know that there's people there that I have talking to, that I have been talking to for years. And it would be actually really cool to, uh, you know, to go in and meet them. And that was actually, okay, and that was exactly what happened. It's obviously, you know, where I met all of these, uh, these people that I've been talking to for years. You know, number one was Heidi. You know, I have been talking to her for like eight years on Facebook. 
and it was really awesome to to finally meet her in person obviously too ever since i started my my channel you know wally from supreme gecko he's been a, a big big help you know a very very uh motivational person and you know to meet him in person was really awesome and a couple more people that i got to meet which was really awesome because uh not that i knew them but they actually recognized me was liz and dylan that was really cool you know uh okay and of course, I you know I, I hope that I, I keep meeting new people. You know, uh, it is it's it's obviously really cool when somebody's like, hey, I know you. <laughs> you know that is really cool. And of course, you know if if you ever see me in a show and you recognize me, if you want to talk to me, you know, go ahead. I don't bite. But of course, reptile shows were not the only thing that uh events you know that I was going to. I also went to record in a couple of new stores. Which, just in case you don't know, you know, last year I went to record in Chief Reptile and also Curious Creatures. Two stores in Illinois that are really awesome. And, you know, if you guys are able to, you need to go check them out. Now, this year, the first store that I, that I went to was Animal House Pets and Supplies in Wisconsin. It was also two hours away. That was not fun, but still, you know, it was well worth it. And actually, that's, uh, okay. And that is actually the same store where I went to pick up Elliot and Olivia, you know, uh, my two Australian live tail geckos. Dan has such an amazing collection of animals that, you know, you just have to go and check it out. Because if you're like me, you know, somebody who's uh, into uh, uncommon and rare reptiles, you have to go there. Or, che or check it out online. Easier for you. Okay. And of course, I had to go to uh, basically a new store that I just found out, even though it's like 10 minutes from where I work, Green Room Reptiles. You know, Mike, the owner, he's slowly becoming a, a friend and, you know, a big help with uh, basically my bioactive setups because when it comes to plants, man, he knows everything. He actually knows more the all the uh, scientific names than the common names. And last but not least, you know, an experience that I... I will never forget, you know, uh, recording for the first time the reptile collection of somebody else. And now, this is something that I, obviously I always hope that uh, it would happen. You know, somebody be like, you know, I know you. I, I know that you make uh, YouTube videos, so why don't you come, you know, to my house and record? And, you know, I told Mike this. that uh, It means a lot, you know, that uh, the fact that uh, he trusted me to go and, you know, try to do my best to, to do a video with him. And that is a video that you guys have to check out. Not because of me, but because of him and his collection. He has such an amazing collection of monitor lizards. He probably has a collection like no other. It's just freaking insane. And as I told him, you know, uh, it's because of him that uh, now I want a uh, Kimberly uh, rock monitor. And even though that might not happen, you know, uh, next year, it has to happen. But speaking of reptiles, you know, obviously I, I already said that, uh, you know, I got my, my Lichianis gecko and also my two Australian leaf tail geckos. I got obviously one more uh, gecko, which is my most recent gecko, my leopard gecko. Now, obviously uh, I say it like that because uh, it is uh, <laughs> probably the most common lizard there is. But, you know, I wanted to go still for something not well known. And, you know, that's why I got my, my female. And now to talk about, uh, you know, a little bit about uh, 2022, you know, uh, starting right away the year, next month, I'm getting the mail. It's up for sure, and, you know, it's it's definitely going to be awesome, because uh, by the time that it's uh, spring, he will be ready to at least pair them. I don't know that uh, they will breed, but uh, at least I'm going to pair them. So hopefully, for the first time, I'm going to have some leopard gecko babies. As well as my leopard gecko, you know, I will have another new gecko. Now, I'm not going to say, you know, what it is because it is something that I have never had before. So, it is basically a surprise for those that do watch my videos, you know, um, weekly or every once in a while. But it is something that, uh, as Clint said, this should be a lot more common. Because uh, they are a species that uh, they are really cool. Uh, they look amazing. They are almost the size of a leopard gecko. But they look really, really cool. So, and, and obviously, you know, that is uh, the first thing that I see. But, you know, uh, as I do more research on them, the more I like them. And hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> now on 2022, 
it finally happens that I'm gonna get uh, the, the male voice for a strike and you know my female is gonna be already two years old by that time and you know she needs a male <laughs> but you know having a lizard that uh, is uh, so rare here in the US you know it's obviously amazing but at the same time it's a pain because uh, to, to get a you know a pair it is very difficult and it is not cheap at all all right and of course if I get you know that male voice forest dragon I'm finally going to pair them up and hopefully <laughs> at the moment that is all I can say because to be honest even though there's uh, you know uh, some people trying to breed them they're still getting such a few and you know one of them is from the same you know uh, parents that I got mine and you know I'm, I'm not going to uh, pair her up with a family member okay now at the moment you know that is uh, basically all of my plans for for uh, my reptiles because obviously uh, everything that I'm getting is not common and uncommon means not cheap <laughs> or uh, a little bit expensive and one if I get the uh, that uh, voice for a dragon that is very very expensive so you know what uh, if it that if, if it doesn't happen I will probably try to get uh, something else and very very few people know about them but you know they're still uh, a lot easier to, to get but you know uh, having a rare and uncommon reptiles is uh, basically what I'm what I want to, to do so you know if that is uh, basically something that I you're into you know and you want to subscribe to uh, check them out and see everything that I'm I'm doing in here you know uh, please do all right so you know obviously I'm gonna go to all of these uh, same shows I'm gonna try to actually go to uh, to new ones even though they are even a little bit further your know, point is uh, I'm gonna try to uh, to go to even more places uh, next year all right kind of funny but uh, I just realized that uh, I didn't actually uh, charge my my battery so uh, you know my my camera just died so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, you know finish uh, this video right here I was it was uh, actually already uh, ending so you know as I was saying you know um, I'm gonna continue um, you know I'm gonna continue going to uh, to these shows and you know uh, if you guys go to to these shows and you actually uh, you know recognize me you know go ahead and uh, say hi uh, you know I, as I said I would love to meet a uh, you know uh, new people and you know say hi to everyone take as many pictures as I can with you know everyone and you know I'm gonna say it again you know thank you to everyone who has given me the uh, the chance you know uh, obviously me and my videos and you know hopefully you guys do enjoy them and of course you know if there's something that you always want to see more of you know feel free to always let me know and well I hope you guys had a, a you know really good uh, Thanksgiving Christmas and every single other uh, holiday and of course have a good uh, okay and of course have a happy New Year's and hopefully all of your reptile uh, okay and hopefully all of your reptile goals and wishes and dreams come together because mine are coming true all right thank you again and I will see you hopefully next week